Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Okay, this is a reading for the sign of Sagittarius, which will cover a month ahead from March until April 2022. Okay, um, the readings are timeless. They can apply at any time, but this reading, my intention or intent for this reading is for to cover this period of time. Now, um, I'm going to start with by saying a prayer for you guys. Please, if you can, pray with me. My dear God, please come through for the sign of Sagittarius. Please give them all that they desire. Give them stability. Give them love. Give them peace. And give them harmony. My God, may you, may you heal the world. May you give us all love and harmony and peace in our hearts and in our surroundings. And may you give the sign of Sagittarius everything that they desire and make all of their wishes come true. In your most high name, amen. Your first car, Sagittarius. Wow. <laughs> you got the three of cups. So this is one of the best cards here. Okay. Um, the three of cups is a card of perfection it's a card of completion so that if there was anything that was that you were, were thinking of whether it was going to work out or not or whether you were going to see a result with regards to a certain situation if, especially if it's love related you are definitely going to have um an, an amazing result and it's very uh, it's impending so it's very soon now okay now i am very happy about the three of cups because i think it just gives you a yes from the beginning of the reading i'm gonna do a card for every week um approximately but the cards all tied together but the three of cups is amazing i'm also feeling communication coming to part of the collective sagittarius when it especially it comes to matters of the heart someone here has some flowers like i do <laughs> they like some flowers or you've got a, a drawing of a sunflower or a, even a tattoo or something who's watching. Thank you so much for coming. Your energy is so powerful and healing and blessed. You are amazing. Thank you so much. Um, I'm feeling a lot of fire energy here. I'm feeling like a lot of angelic energy as well. So if anyone works with the angels, you are incredible. I'm feeling your energy. Thank you so much. Now, the Three of Cups is just a very encouraging um, card. And like I said, there is um, a lot of um, blessings associated with this card. It's a card of perfection and completion, perfection of everything, basically. Like I said, I'm, there's going to be a card for every week. But in the end of the reading, I'm going to be giving you a herb. So stick around, a herb to help you achieve your goals within this month, okay? Because I do herbs as well, and I, I work in perfumery, I do spiritual healing, I, and um, thank God my work is really good. The results always come out, I'm blessed that they come out positive and really powerful. Um, but I've been guided to give you guys a, a, every sign of herb tonight to help them achieve their goals for free. So I hope you guys find it help, helpful. So the next card here that I'm getting for you, Sagittarius, is the Queen of Swords. It could be that you have Aquarius in your sign, Sagittarius, which is my case. I am an Aquarius and I have Sagittarius in Venus. My Venus is in Sagittarius, sorry. <laughs> um, and it's like, really, I love the sign of Sagittarius. Many of my friends are Sagittarius. So you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords as well can be like, um, it, it can talk about someone who will be having like... Um, a strong um, connection with an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be actually in your chart, but it could be that you're going to have a strong connection with Aquarius, whether, whether it be friendship or, um, you know, uh, love. The Queen of Swords as well can speak about if, you, if you've got someone that you are talking to that, that is not with you at the moment, okay? And it's... For, for part of the collective, not all of you, they will be coming home safely, okay? So I'm, I am seeing here that someone is missing someone or maybe you're talking to someone who is in another country or another 
stay to you and there you go <laughs> you've got the six of cups so the six of cups is actually amazing after the queen of uh, of swords it is um about relief okay and the relief is usually brought by simple people or simple things okay so it could be the arrival of this person whether you know them or you don't know them the energy is coming in very strong so there is some type of union happening here this could also talk about people who work with companies or, or study uh, in universities that are not local to them for example someone could be working in a company that has an overseas branch um the um six of cups is just a very good time okay manifesting this reality okay the th the combination of the three of cups and six of cups and the queen of swords tell me tells me that you are going to have very good news coming to you soon after a period where things have been delayed you've put all the negativity behind you all the confusion all the for some of you all the feelings of being alone they are going to be behind you there's going to be something really pleasant and really happy it is god sent okay it's divinely guided okay now this um divinely guided uh situation is going to be very good um for you going forward you're going to get a sense of stability and completion i really am getting divine energy with this okay so if you've prayed for it or manifested it this is definitely something that is going to make you very happy all right so the next card you have is the seven of wands in reverse which is very good for um it's a, a, a on an upright position seven of wands is about struggle it's like a challenge or a competition or something but right? there's some risk associated with it if you see this man that's on the card he's um, you know struggling with these crocodiles <laughs> but it's in reverse so this spread is telling me that definitely the struggle if there's been any struggle it's behind you if there's been any feeling of lack in any kind of situation it's behind you you're going to come out um, successful with flying colors I really am picking up on someone's energy that's very lovely very beautiful and has a big heart you are a divine feminine and you are connected to a masculine this relationship or connection has a financial side to it. I don't know what the involvement of finances is in it, but please rest assured that it's going to be amazing, okay? I'm getting the letter N for November in the name, so it could be in your name or the name that you're interested in. Sometimes the spirits just give me this random thing that about someone because they need to hear it. You're going to have such an amazing union and probably from what i'm seeing here it's more than you've expected okay that's gonna come gonna come through for you okay now the the outcome is gonna be fabulous whether it has to do with love or with money it's a blessed it's gonna seem like it's a miracle is what i'm getting it's gonna seem like it's a miracle so you've got um congratulations and blessings from me I am really happy to see this. You are beautiful. You deserve all the best. You deserve the best outcome and best person, best money, best situation. And you are going to get it. If you stumbled on this reading, just rest assured, the outcome is going to be fantastic. And it's going to happen now this month. Okay, March, April. Now the herb that the spirits are giving to me for you guys to use is cinnamon <laughs> cinnamon is a common it's a very common herb but they're saying just take a little bit and sprinkle it in your wallet or sprinkle it um if you've got someone that you're interested in or you like sprinkle a little bit on their picture or even put a little bit in a tissue and carry it in your right pocket cinnamon draws money and draws love the effects of it are very far reaching and they can be extremely big okay it's a very common herb that many people don't know it's also cleansing and protective and it's fiery like the sagittarius okay so in our 
kind of traditions. It belongs to the sign of Sagittarius cinnamon. Some signs, they don't get the herb that um, belongs to the sign, but you guys are getting the cinnamon and it's just filling me with hope because I love cinnamon. <laughs> I love it. Um, it is incredible and it removes obstacles and it's also, if there's any kind of negativity or someone directing negative thoughts or anything negative towards you, it keeps them at bay or it sends them back to whoever sent it to you, okay? So carry a cinnamon stick with you or a cinnamon powder or essential oil. You can use it in a diffuser and it's definitely going to help bring all of these things in, okay? Um, if you sprinkle it on your money, it will attract more money. If you sprinkle it on things that you uh, are romantic, it will attract more love. If you wear it as, you know, you put a drop in your perfume and you wear it, it's going to make you more alluring and more attractive. So there's so many uses for it in a spiritual sense. It works best with prayer. For me, it works best when I pray to God to help me and I use cinnamon. It just brings out the biggest and most amazing results. Uh, but you can pray to whoever you believe in and whatever you believe in. Um, it will still work as long as you believe that it will work and you talk and say what you want clearly, okay, to the herb or to the guardian spirit of the herb. It's also an angelic energy, uh, brings, an, brings in angelic energy, cinnamon. It's very good for that too. And it's very protective. I love you guys so much i'm really happy to see this for you guys and if you want to um check i've got a video for a money oil that i've put out i'm gonna be putting out some recipes every now and then for you guys to um have a look at and benefit from that money oil is a very ancient recipe and it brings in a lot of cash so make sure you check the recipe um I've, it's another video on the videos that i have i love you guys so much please like share and subscribe um, and I will definitely see you guys really happy and all smiles in your next reading. <laughs> okay, see you guys soon. Be blessed.